Kiddos, have you ever had someone else hurt your feelings? Have you ever wondered how can you handle that situation without pretending like your feelings weren't hurt and ignoring it or by putting someone else down? Hey girls, can I play with you guys? Hey girls, can I play with you guys? No, okay, they're ugly. I can pretend like it didn't happen. Or I could yell at them. No, girls, you're ugly farts. I know what we want. So we on Bella, I feel upset. How would you like it if I was your friend and you wanted to play and I said no because you're ugly? And because that does not, that makes me feel upset. I'm sorry, Caleb. Kayla, we're so sorry. You accept our apology. Sure. Why not go play all together? Yeah, sure. <laughs> As we go through life, people will hurt our feelings and sometimes maybe put us down. Sometimes it'll be on purpose and sometimes not on purpose. So we wanna make sure that we're standing up for ourselves in a good way, where we honor our feelings and address our feelings in a good way while still respecting the other person. According to Mayo Clinic Health Professionals, people can improve their assertiveness through practical exercises and experience. First, make eye contact when you're talking and straighten your back so your posture is upright. Second, use a calm but firm voice. Third, share and be clear what you are really feeling without blaming the other person. Use I statements like, I feel sad when I see you play with other friends because I feel left out, or I really miss you. This way, when you share how you feel, you're not putting the other person down or blaming them. You're sharing how you feel. And the more someone understands how you feel, the more they'll be able to take action based on empathy by feeling what you feel. The more we all practice being assertive, the stronger we all become with sharing our feelings in honest and helpful ways. And remember, we want to honor and respect our own feelings while still showing respect to the feelings of others.